Hello there, Sir from 17 once again. This is more bad business content. This is going to be a video on the L85 using the assault rifle barrel. I don't know the name of it guys, I do apologise, I recorded this a while back. And I'm sharing it now and hopefully you'll be hearing it pretty soon. This is a King of the Hill on, on Tides. This is a map that can be really really fun if your team is willing to push the objective. But if they don't and they let the enemy set up it can be an absolute nightmare. And uh, right now I'm definitely getting, getting my shit fisted a little bit. Our team doesn't seem to, to care too much about the hill. We don't have the numbers that the enemies do, and it's going to force me to, to play a lot harder than I need to. But luckily, I like to play hard on video games, you know? I like to shoot people, I like to get a lot of kills, and that's exactly what this video is going to be, if I can make that happen, as I clear the boat off and continue on into the contested hill. So the L85 is the most recent gun added to Bad Business. I really didn't want it. I did not want it. I did not understand why the internet thinks this gun is good because it's not. <laughs> it's not in real life, I should say, but in this game it is really good. It's a fun gun, it's a powerful gun, it's got lots of variety for lots of people, and because the attachments are so cool, there's lots to try with it too. I, uh, I've got this gun now to, I think, level 42, and I've just been having a ton of fun putting different things on it, and I've used it for a lot longer than I would normally use a new gun, because it's just, well, it's difficult to unlock attachments unless you buy them, and I don't buy things in this game unless it's new guns because I feel like, why would you waste currency on attachments that you can earn when you can be purchasing things you can't earn? That was a double headshot feed just then by this guy. I don't like seeing headshots in the feed, especially from distance like that, because it always makes you wonder if the person is cheating, and there's been a lot of cheaters recently on Bad Business, and I hate to say it guys, but they're everywhere, and they're not always the most overt as well, there's a lot of subtle people that are 2 to 3 hitting you in the torso at ranges when they should not be able to do that, so be very conscious of of players stacking way too much damage on you. Most of the time, it's probably the server. It's probably the server just client-siding the shit out of you. Or like that right now, I've got multiple people engaging me and my team is coming close to the objective, but they're not being aggressive. They're not getting rid of the threats. And Luckily, I'm up against some interesting gamer rug owning gamers right here, so I can clean them up and be mobile and, and do what I can. You'll notice my playstyle as well with this gun features the Mac 10 a lot. And the reason for that is not that I want to avoid the gun, and I don't think the gun is good, but the gun is slow. Uh, I've got so used to having 100 mobility, sometimes more, that whenever I pull out these guns that have 80 and less, I feel like a slug, especially on a map like this where I have to be super aggressive and really in the face of all these people. Uh, it's not my choice here to, to rock the Mac 10 the whole time, it's just in that range, it gives me the ability to stay alive. So right now, I can put my proper gun back on, I can go to town and, and hit some folks, and do what I can do, and be the best I can be, but when I have to move, I'm going to swap immediately to the Mac, because the Mac has the, the stock on it that gives extra mobility, and then when I unlock Lightweight, I'm probably going to put that on, and my every LMG that I have, he got a headshot on me again. That's weird. Maybe it's just really lucky hipfire, you can never tell, can you? That's why a kill cam would be really nice. But that has become my, my LMG playstyle, and I've played with every LMG in the game, and I really, really like them. It's a great clash, you should absolutely try them. They're so strong, and no one uses them. But my piece of advice is to give yourself a really fast backup, and always swap to your backup to do movement, to do any kind of traversal, and whenever you get into a situation where the LMG doesn't shine, put something else that's strong. And the guns that stand out to me are obvious. The, the Mac 10's amazing, the Glock, the G18, amazing as well. You can use the, the Scorpion if you want to, but it might be a little bit more difficult because it's not quite as good as those guns. You can also use the the Tech 9. The Tech 9 with the illegal mod hits like an absolute truck. Very fun gun. You saw the guy kill me with it a moment ago. Absolutely murked me with it. But always try and have an option if you can. If you could carry a sword instead of your tactical, like your grenade, I would carry the sword with no intentions of ever swinging it, because the sword has 105 mobility by default, so you could use that to sprint back into the action and then swap to the LMG, and it would enable you to stand a chance. And all, all I do is whenever I have to get somewhere, I'll swap to my secondary, and whenever I get into a situation where I have to get away or I have to be fast and mobile and use the movement, I'll swap off the gun again. Because LMGs are great in their range and in their function, but if you try to t take them into some deep waters where they don't belong, you're gonna die. And the whole point of this game is to kill your opponents, not to let them kill you. But the rifle barrel, I think it's 20 levels, 18 levels maybe to unlock the barrel. 
Uh, it takes a handful of levels to get it. The first few levels on a weapon, they fly by, you don't even notice them, especially a gun that's this fun. But it definitely rocks. Here he is again. Look at that, a headshot again. God, that dude. Maybe he's just the best. I think he said in one of the stream chats, actually. In, I say the stream chat, in the game chat. Like, I'm really good. <laughs> it was super funny. I love people like that. You can tell he was young. You know, like a young person who's really confident. Like, he's got that confidence, he's got that gusto. He's, look at him on the hill, too. He's constantly on the hill, he's constantly trying to win. That's the ultimate person you want on your team. And he's killed me repeatedly, which a lot of people struggle to do, so GG to him. Visually, this gun looks a bit odd when it has this barrel on. It turns the end of it into... Uh, I don't really know if I like it. I don't really know if it's even remotely close to how it should look with a reduced barrel like this. But... Fundamentally, I think the guy who designed these weapons, I think he did a great job with them. I think all the attachments fit kind of nice. I think it's interesting that it's got that rear stock that doesn't make any sense. I think you're going to have to grow a third arm to hold that one, but if you do, you'll get less recoil. The only thing I don't like on the gun is the irons. And I just don't understand why every single gun on this game gets their irons ruined by having some kind of aperture, some kind of strange hoop. Some ghost ring right in the middle of the iron that ruins everything and you can't see a damn thing. And they do it on almost every iron in the game. And the, the funny part is, some of the snipers, some of the big old rifles that are intended to have scopes on them. Oh, by the way, this Samuel kid, I've just remembered it's this gameplay. This guy is so interesting of a player. He hides in places and tries to get sneak attacks on you. And every single time I bump into him, he's in like a sneaky corner somewhere. And unfortunately, it doesn't, it doesn't work for him. But I've never seen a player with the craftiness of that guy. He is absolutely earning gold stars for just ingenuity. Some of the stuff he was doing this game, if you watch it, if you're paying attention, really silly stuff. It's childish stuff, but it's the kind of stuff that works. But right now, this setup, the only way this setup could be any better is if I had the bigger magazine. Because the bigger magazine lets me do all kinds of crazy feeds, even though earlier on I got a quad feed on this avenue here, which is always highly trafficked. It's one of the reasons I really like tides. When you play King of the Hill on Tides, there's only three places these guys can come from. And I can cover most of them, and I can be aggressive enough to make sure that I'm always funneling them into my gun. Um, that's the reason why I think King of the Hill is the best mode in the game at the moment. I really wish that they'd separate randomizer and gun game. I wish those were special game modes that only turned up every so often, because they really kill the lobbies, and everybody votes for them, because the kids, the kids like to use the weapons they don't have. And... It's just one of those game modes where those game modes are fun. There's there's no two words about it. But when you want to level a gun up, when you're trying to level your character up and, and unlock new guns and things, when you're trying to do something with a purpose and then randomizer turns up, it just kills all the flow that the lobby had. And I like it when the lobby's going between game modes and going between maps and having some really cool matches. But then when bloody gun game turns up or randomizer turns up, all the good players leave and it's just, well, that was a good lobby. Rip. And there's times as well where it doesn't even seem like the thing that everybody votes for is the thing that gets chosen. Because there's times when they'll, there'll be a bunch of votes for TDM and it'll just throw in Randomizer anyway. And I can understand Randomizer being a bit more popular at the moment because they've just updated it so that the attachments randomize. And I think that's amazing. I actually went into a private server and used some of the guns I haven't bought yet to see how they felt. So that when I do buy them I, I won't be, you know, completely blind when I use them. But do you know the gun that I've not seen? I've seen every single gun in the game, except for the icicle launcher. There he is again, look at him, sneaky guy. It's a good job I saw him, or he might have caught me off guard then. I would have never checked that corner. But I knew he was over there, so... It wasn't a difficult reach. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen, the assault rifle barrel on the L85. We had a ton of mobile players there, absolute monsters. They just don't miss, what the fuck are you supposed to do? I wish they'd toned that down, dude, I hate it, but... Anyhow, that was Bad Business, that was the L85, thank you for watching, and you take care now.